right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have cause to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Or kill the tape for this featherweight fight. Both fighters identical in age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, buying out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, D. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Ricardo the Bully Lomas. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to his face. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this. Ah, right, it's crazy. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get it. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now.
Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throw. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. An attacking armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There it is. So he taps out oh, due to oh, the arm bar man. tonight. High-level grappling work. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Ricardo Bully Lama. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.